bookworms. Have you ever read a book where you know nothing of the author, but you start reading the book and you're like, huh, the story itself may not be the best, but the way in which the author is telling the story has got me very, very intrigued, and I may actually like their writing style. This is one of these episodes today. I've just read a book. We're going to discuss it because that just happened. Bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. And in this episode, we are discussing the newly released Sarah Foster novel entitled The Deceit. So the story of Deceit is quite simple. Lenny and Claire, husband and wife. Lenny feels like the relationship is breaking down between husband and wife. Claire has been somewhat distant from him. He receives mysterious texts saying that his wife isn't being 100% honest with him. And what leads us through, I believe, just under 300 pages, is a story where who is right, who is wrong, what is the actual issue going on between husband and wife, and, yeah, can their marriage stay together, I guess. In addition to that main story, there is a second story where people across the road have moved in, and they know a lot more about Lenny and Claire than anybody who was newly introduced to the neighborhood should know, and that picks up their suspicion. So yeah, it's a it's a story about husband and wife trying to figure out what's going on between their marriage, but also some backstory and some intrigue in relation to the new neighbors coming in. So I've just finished The Deceit by Sarah Foster. Here are my thoughts about the book that I've just completed. So, off the bat, this is my first Sarah Foster book. I knew nothing of her prior to this. I just went in going, hey, found this book available. Let's, you know, give it a whirl. The book itself, the writing style, as I said on the intro, very intrigued with the writing style. So, no matter what happens with this review, I'm potentially going to go and get a couple more Sarah Foster books to, to give it a whirl, just to see if I, if I really do like her writing style. This story here by Sarah Foster, you are thrown into the relationship between Lenny and Claire, and you learn bits by bits as each chapter goes along. Uh, similar to other books that we've read, one chapter is from Lenny's point of view, the next chapter is from Claire's, from Lenny's to Claire's, and so on. Uh, little things are dropped along the way, especially about... Spoilers if you don't want spoilers about the wife's past because the story itself is based on the wife isn't being honest she is not who she says she is and you learn little things as you go along about the wife's past that makes it very intriguing and you don't know in which way is the story going to go or bend or flow into just touching on that i found also the realism that Sarah Foster gave, especially from Lenny's point of view, the husband's point of view, like, as you learn new bits about Claire, his reaction is literally like the reaction that you would have in real life. And I was like, oh, that's actually really cool because it's got a lot of realism to it. So that was a lot of fun. Overall, the story was fun. These two characters kept me well entertained, uh, throwing the supporting characters of the people across the road and a couple of school mums that, you know, are all part of the story itself. It was crazy to see how a batshit crazy story could be intertwined into an everyday real life situation. And it didn't come across as batshit crazy. It came across as real life. Like, oh, okay, this could really happen. This, you could foresee this to be completed. And these are the genuine reactions that characters would have in real life. So, yeah, well known Sarah Foster for that. So overall, I, as I said at the start, I'm intrigued by Sarah Foster's writing. This book was enjoyable. It was, it was a fun little read. And will this book be going onto my bookshelf? 
No. Solely because I've read it and I have no interest in reading it again. I am interested in reading Sarah Foster novels. So that may be coming onto our uh, platform a bit more uh, as we go along. But in saying that, would I go out and read The Deceit again, noting that I've already read it? No. I'm happy reading it and passing it on. So unfortunately, The Deceit by Sarah Foster hasn't made my bookshelf. But that's not to say that it was a bad book. It's just, I wouldn't reread it. I've read it. Okay, cool. I've read the story. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the writing. Hey, the book kept me entertained. There was nothing bad about it. Even the ending. And the ending, you know, I'm very critical about the ending in here was superb. <laughs> it was great. It was like the way in which I wanted it to end. That's the way they did it. And I was like, that is legit. And I won't spoil the ending for you, but it plays into the narrative of the whole story. So yeah, The Deceit by Sarah Foster. You haven't made my bookshelf. But Sarah Foster, I'm intrigued to read some more of your novels. So yeah. So as a customs here at the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, another book has to open. And it is now time to find out what the next read is for the Weekend Readers Book Club. And bookworms, we can confirm the next read is The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. Now, Gillian Flynn, one of her books has made my all-time best read series books, like on my bookcase, my like pure top ten. Gone Girl, loved it. So I'm going to give Grown Up a read. I don't know what to expect, but yeah, Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. Hopefully you can blow me away like Gone Girl. So yeah, you are the next read for the Weekend Readers Book Club. So Bookworms, that was my review and discussion of The Deceit by Sarah Foster. A book I did enjoy reading. A book that was very entertaining. Um, a book that I would say if you enjoy a little bit of, of mystery. Oh, it's not really a thriller. It's more mystery, drama, action. A bit of action in this book. Um... If, you, if you're looking for something like that, as I said, it's under 300 pages. Give it a whirl. Uh, might be something that you might want to, you know, have a read and put in your wheelhouse. But The Deceit by Sarah Foster, great read. So with that being said, you can feel free to follow us. Yes, we have socials. We are available on Instagram and Goodreads via Weekend Readers Book Club. We are also on YouTube and predominantly wherever you get your podcasts from. Uh, via the name The Weekend Readers. Until next time, thank you again for joining us. And bookworms, happy reading. <laughs>